What a magnificent pleasure for me to be here today with uh, Pa. I call, I, I call him Joseph because he's yes. my friend, but it's Pa Atikwana. Joseph Atekwana, uh, a very historic person. The Bobans would know him very much because uh, while you were at school, tell your story about your school, the, the first landmark school that you... Well, uh, I finished from Bali College in 1958. And in 1959, I was teaching in Baku. And 60... I was in the Southern Cameroon Institute of Agriculture, Bambui. Okay. Then from Southern Cameroon Institute of Agriculture in 1960, I graduated and was posted to, and I worked in Bakam oil palm plantation under West Cameroon Development Agency. And we chose Mamfe because the palm grows there without any struggle. They cut it and tap mimbo with it from it, and the next year, one camp, the whole place full of palms. So we chose. And the tumbutu that we eat, you, yeah. know, you know, the, yeah, the maggots, the maggots. maggots that we eat. Yeah. We eat. So we worked, I worked in Mamfe for 61. And uh, there was no engine saw, there was not even a hack saw, there was no saw. So we used to take used to take us one and a half week to cut down a boma tree in Bakum oil plantation. Because we we're cutting a whole bush to plant. Whatever the case, I left. I got a scholarship to come to America. I went to they called me in Boya that Gladys Endele called me in Boya to go and come and see her. It is unlike today. They say Northwest, Southwest, this, this, this. The Minister of Agriculture was a Jebesone from Bakosi. The Director of Agriculture was Burnley from Bakre Land. And the, and the Secretary of Scholarship Board was Gladys Endele. All of them from down there. And when I went, Gladys sent me to my department, that's agriculture, that I should go and take permission to go to America. When I got there, they were so angry with her that, how did I leave Manfred to get a scholarship to go to America? But then we're still part of Nigeria. 60, September 61. Even though we had... Uh, we, had voted, we had done the plebiscite, plebiscite by then. Okay. But we are not yet gotten our independence. It was not yet October? No. So, so all the intrigues going to Fumban were still going on? Yeah, they were going on, but I was in the in back working on the in oil palm plantation. From there I came to America. And uh, Christmas, I must not hide this. West Cameroon had an international airline in 1961, and it was called CAT. Cameroon air transport. And that is the plane that Gladys took me from Boya in her Opel Cadet, drove me to Tico, put me into it, and I left southern Cameroon to Lagos, Nigeria, in CAT. And from there to Pan American Airline to America. By the time we had an airline, nobody, Nigeria didn't have an airline. And the, the whole of Africa was using Pan African Airlines, right? I don't know the, if you know me. Because I flew that too in uh, 94. You're talking about 94. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about 30-something years before 94. Okay. No, 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 no. no. 94. Because... 60, yes. 30-something. I left yes. in, in 60. Yeah. There were no Pan African Airlines. You left 60 or 61? 60 was September 61. Okay, were you were you of age to vote for the plebiscite? I voted. You voted for the plebiscite. And I am very I'm one of the person who is grieved most because we campaigned for it in the plebiscite that 
Do you want to go and be slave to Igbos in Nigeria? Or you want to go and join? The Igbos were, were already, they already had a reputation for maltreating our people, right? You want me to tell you? <laughs> in in Abakwa market, Mendanko women will come and sell charcoal and take the money to, to move in the Abakwa market to buy something. Just asking how much is this rapper? You must buy. They tear it and throw on you. And little children, they used to sell uh, petrol in uh, uh, kerosene in a drum. A child will put his foot like this for a, a woman or a, a, a Bamenda man to fall. And then the whole market, that's the ill treatment that falls us. So you just touch something like that, you must buy. You must buy. And if you, if you are a, a, a very wicked children, they will put their food because at the alley that you are climbing like they going up, they will put their food. You don't know. And then as you are going, you fall. Then they say bushman has fallen. A bush woman has fallen. Then they will be drunk that they were selling a kerosene inside. The whole market. So that's what pushed us to vote for our brothers and sisters over there. So it was not no rocket science. The two alternatives were very clear for most of us that, hey, better La Republic than Nigeria. Yes, uh, that is it. So, but to really long, but let's let's make it <laughs> short. I, I want the Bobans to get a little bit bit of the history of the scholarship, the the Atekona School Science Scholarship that was in uh, CPC Bali. Okay. And, and we'll come back to, because you just came from home, from ground zero, yes. with a lot of back, a lot of stories to tell. We would cut it short. But uh, you two, you called me that you're here and you must see me before you go back. And I did made everything to come see you. You're one I, of the persons that since I came to America in 90, in 96, we have been communicating till today. You've been my friend. I, if, ca I call if, you Joseph. I, even though you are my yeah, pa, I call you Joseph. Even, even if, I, when I, if I don't even talk to you uh, uh, on WhatsApp, mm -hmm. I send you messages and you send me messages. Yes. And, and one thing that I want, as we connect to your, as we go to your scholarship thing, amazing that I came, you are just a man who is so much in love with the land and the soil. You just came here. And this is the farm, your your son's house, uh, Ignatius' house. Yes. And you just came here. All your pastime is right here with the soil. Yes. You you farming. You are doing everything. I have not been to anywhere else apart from weekends that we go for birthdays and uh, burials and so on. I have gone to nowhere. And I called Caro before coming here, uh, Ignatius' wife. Yes. And she told me that, hey, when you ring the doorbell, if you don't hear anything, go to the garden. He might be out back there in the back garden. And that's and exactly what happened. And, and you and mommy, you're still calling each other sweetheart. Darling. darling. Didi. <laughs> that is Didi. Daddy's darling. Uh, that I'm called. So and, and when I talked to you, you when I, you and I talked, uh, when I noticed you are, you are here, you said you're coming a few days, you're coming to take your wife back. Yes. <laughs> no, the, the, I asked the children, we are joking, we are talking. I asked the children that we sign a marriage certificate and in it we say, until death do us part. part. You are parting of your doing us part. Are you death? That's why I asked the children. Are you dead to do why, us part? Why would they come and take your wife? The yeah, audacity to come. Part, which is what we, we swore not to do. Until death do it. And since death does it, since they are doing it, so I ask them, I ask them whether they are dead. They are dead. To do us part. So they cannot use their money or their position oh, to sir. destroy your, world, your marriage. <laughs> oh, so I talk about that scholarship. The one, uh, how you came to that school. You've already told us how you got the scholarship. Yes. But how you came to the school in America. And then you were, you, you got an opportunity yeah. that you used to yeah. help. Other people. Well, I got to school in America. We're in the dormitory. In Michigan State University, mm -hmm. American first land grant university, and land grant simply means that when, like we have uh, Bellsville here, they are doing uh, experiment and uh, breeding and so on. When you find a result in the lab, you do not put it in the market. You go and test it on farmers' farm. 
if it works then you broadcast you 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 go on extension not mm -hmm. that you get it from the lab mm -hmm. and the result is fine and you start distributing the seed no you go and test it on the farm if it works on the on uh, many farmers farm then you give to other farmers so that is the you know land grant mm -hmm. university yeah and michigan state is number is the first american land grant university okay so i got there I was in the dormitory. Then I am a Presbyterian. And I was in the Sunday school. Then there was an Iraqian girl who was doing a PhD in food nutrition. And she was carrying out an experiment that somebody can live on wheat alone for 40 days. They looked in the university. There was no guinea pig. So they came to the church. Mm -hmm. And they were asking if anybody could volunteer. Nobody volunteered. Somebody Joe got up there. I think Paris can do it. Joe can do it. Joe can do it. Stand up, Joe. I stood up. He said, Joe can do it. So I, I, I accepted it. And I stayed 40 days eating nothing but wheat and wheat products. I was weighed in the air and weighed under water. My blood was taken every day for 40 days. At the end, I did not spend my money for that, for the 40 days to buy my own food. And then they gave me $100 in those days. Mm -hmm. So I added one more hundred, which I did not use to buy my own food. There were 200. So I decided that I would give a, a, a Taekwondo science prize to Bali with that money. And I the, the slogan is that from science it came to, to science, science it it so I got it because that Iraqi woman was doing science and I took it and made a different science prize in Bali so, in CBC Bali you that means in total and at that time with the value of the money then two hundred dollars was a lot of money sure but so, I cannot so, so how how did how did you keep the were there people funding the scholarship? No, I, I, I continue to. Oh, you you continue to. Fund from my oh, own scholarship. Okay. And I chose class three. Okay. Because uh, in Bali. So it wasn't like at a down bend that will continue even when you are not here. It, it, no, but Jing, uh, Doctor Jing, mm -hmm. and my son Elliot. Professor Atequana okay. are trying to do something to be that, to make Atequana Science Foundation. Okay, okay. That doing, would be bigger and would help would, more people. Would more people. Okay. So that is how I got the the, the money and I sent it to Bali. And the first person who won the money, the scholarship is called Azik Tasinga. Okay. Dr. Azik Tasinga. He he worked with NASA. Okay. National Aeronautic and Space Administration in America. Uh -huh. And San Francisco Water Authority bought him with cash. Paid him more money than uh, NASA. And he is in San Francisco as we're talking now. But he has retired and he settled there. Oh, great. Wow. What, that's very historic. And he has also reciprocated by, by equipping the library helping to build a library mm -hmm. and equipping it in Bali with, with computers and all scientific uh, instruments in Bali. That so, is the work of Isaac Tassinga. Uh, and this is part of your work. You're with the ground here yes. working. Yes. And uh, what are you going to plant here? Um, That's um, me watching us. Yes. We're planting. Actually, man is to work. My son and the wife will choose what to plant. What they want to plant. But they have chosen first to plant huckleberry. Wow. And you will see it that way. So very soon we'll have a place for our fresh vegetable. Yes. And then the next one is vita leaf, mm -hmm. which is on this, on this long bed. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they say they'll plant water, watermelon. Yeah, okay, okay. No, 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 watermelon, water leaf. Okay. They'll plant water leaf. That's great. So they'll plant mainly Huckleberry, bitter leaf, water leaf. Then the rest of the other spices, and Okongobon, and so on. They are not major. 
But there are three major things. Huckleberry, Vitaly, and Waterloo. Yeah. Well, uh, this we will do a different segment of this thing to, to get your experience about coming from ground zero. But for this one, let me end with us remembering another of my older friends. You both of you supported me here very well in the 90s with the Cryo Foundation, ACCDF, uh, to build, and then we were marching on politics very much. Yes. I remember that very much. Both of you being members of the a a a ADF, SDF, SDF. I and standing in uh, what what is that position that you are in? The I was a special advisor to the national chairman. I was a, a founding father. Okay. And then. A central committee member. Yes, that is central committee member. Uh -huh. That's the CPDL language. Uh, <laughs> what do you NEC. call it? NEC, NEC, or National Executive Council. Council. Uh, yeah. Okay. So so I, I always remem remember both of you with uh, Pamucho. Yes. And uh, I remember very much uh, Pamucho's love that he showed everything that I was doing. He was always supporting like you two. We were together in politics here before this crazy time that has come today. Yeah. There was respect when even in disagreement. Sure. And uh, we showed gentlemanly even towards our op op opponents. Sure. We, did not, we did not really treat them like animals and all that stuff. Yeah. The, and for that, they respected us and were able to get in some ground. So uh, I'm glad to see you here today and to remember those moments and to remember a special friend too, like Pa Mucho. Mucho, uh, Mucho. So I met the wife in church uh, 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 last week. Yeah. Uh -huh. But Mucho was a, a, a wonderful man. Very, very. He built a house exactly like this in Bamenda with a swimming pool and everything. Well, okay. And today there's nobody there. Nobody. No child. What it was. What it was. I remember Pamucho was very ill. And uh, I always don't forget when he invited me, he called me and told me that people were coming for to ask the daughter's hand in marriage. Yes. And that day when I called him and told him I wasn't feeling well to come, he, he showed so much disappointment and anger. And uh, when he was ill, one week before he died, I took the community here, our planning committee, you know, we always had planning committee for a festival every year. Yes. So we, we had one of the meetings in his house. And one week after that meeting, he died. So it's befitting for me to have a person like you for us to remember him. Because sometimes people just go and we just forget and pay leaf service before, after burial. We just don't remember their greatness and the great work they did in our lives. So that's, that's it for this segment. We'll be talking about your experience in Amber next segment. Let me close this out.